This week on Manor and Maker, we get a long-awaited delivery. Steve's a lumberjack and he's okay. And we get the drone out for another run. There's some friggin' couches, Steve! It's Finally! So so we, we ordered these sofas, uh, what, beginning of December? No, yep. late, it was late November. And they said, they said that they would be here December 13th, which would have been awesome because we would have had them for... All of our guests. Unfortunately. I mean, we were, well, we were well aware of the fact that there is a lot of problem with the supply chain right now, so we were not expecting it to happen. Quite frankly, we had March in our brains, so <laughs> the fact that they're here in January... Yay! Yeah. Comfy couches. They're, again, not the most glamorous, but uh, it's really hard to get a choice in colors right now unless you go to the high-end specialty shops, which we can't do right now. So these will do for now. They'll be nice and comfy. And uh, Steve finally gets to lounge after work. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to stand here with the camera and let you do all the work, okay? <laughs> and bonus, it comes as a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> a giant box, we can make a fork. <laughs> Pop your butt in it, let's see. Alright, let's see this works. Very exciting, very exciting. That sofa's awesome. Oh, sofas. Oh, sofas. So today we need to go get some more wood. Uh, this is something I'm trying to do as much as I can. We have so much uh, deadfall here. There's a lot of trees that have been down, that have been down for a few years by the looks of it. So I'm slowly trying to chop them up and um, we get the benefit of not only cleaning up the wooded areas, but also getting some firewood. Um, <laughs> this texture running by. Anyhow, we'll, uh, I'll take you up into the woods and show you what we got. So we have about, uh, I think it's 37 acres of land that come with the chateau. And the mass majority of it is wooded, which is great. We got lots of firewood. Um, and for the first, I don't know, good couple of years, I'm guessing we're not even going to have to take trees down. We're just looking at all the deadfall that we've got in here. Um, obviously, over the years, the ground has eroded and, you know, some trees have gotten a little old. And we've got quite a few trees that are down. So I'm going to try and clean up as much as possible, try and get through some of this wood that's just laying on the ground and, you know, clean up the area and use it for firewood. for the fun bit. Uh, I have to get all this lovely chopped wood back to the cart. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do this. So far I've come up with the idea of maybe a slide. Maybe that's what we need. Maybe something we can use as a water slide in the summertime. But we'll walk this down to the barn and start chopping it up for firewood. I've decided that the best way to get my wood down this hill and out of this forest is to essentially just keep tossing it down until it gets down to the trailer. Um, for those of you who might know, 
when I was back in Canada, I lived in Fergus, and uh, I was on the board of directors for the Fergus Scottish Festival. So basically I'm throwing a caber. I just decided to cut the caber first before throwing it. Let's see how it works. it is but hey keeping me warm on this cool January morning we'll keep going we'll get there in the end there we go not a bad haul for today now that I finally got it out of the woods uh, <laughs> after throwing it a few times um, let's chop it up uh, this obviously will be wood for next year because it's gonna need a year to season but that's why I'm getting it now, so that we'll have plenty of wood for the fires next year. Python fans out there who are singing I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. So am I. Also for those fans of Monty Python, I'm not wearing women's underwear. obviously the tower the 16th century tower and this we assume would have been a arrow slit for you know defending down low but it actually ends up being a rather nice way to get wood into the bottom of our tower we have an area in the bottom of the tower that has uh, a wood store so we can keep things nice and dry and it makes it much more accessible in the winter time the advantage of the hole also is that you know if the wood doesn't fit the hole through the hole it's not going in the fire f fireplace, so, you know, win-win. If you've seen the tours, then you guys know that we have access to our tower through the living room. Um, and as you come down here, let me get the light on. You can see our wood store. So the little cubby in the corner there is actually the access point that I was showing on the outside. And I can just throw it all in and pile up the wood here. And as you see, there's the wood. So it'll just come through here and we will get a good pile going. I already started with this pile. Fortunately, this is dry stuff from last year. So we're still working our way through that. We do still have some in the back of the barn as well. So uh, we should be okay for the rest of this winter, hopefully, but then we'll be ready for next year.
So you can hear the lunchtime bells. It's 12 o'clock. Once we're done this, it's time for lunch. Thank <sighs> you.